Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the slope or gradient of parallel and perpendicular lines. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. Slope or gradient of parallel lines. Basic knowledge. If two lines are parallel, then their inclination to the x-axis is exactly the same. That is, they have the same gradient. Now here is the inclination there and the inclination there. So what we're saying is, if that angle equals that angle, these two lines are parallel, hence they have the same gradient. Now I've nicknamed or named this line L1, and I've named this line here L2. L1 and L2 are parallel lines, hence their gradients are the same. The equation of L1, y equals 2x plus 4. The equation of L2, y equals 2x. The above two equations are in the form y equals mx plus b. We can see in each case that the value of m equals 2. So here L1, the value of m equals 2. For L2, the value of m equals 2. Each of those is the gradient, both the same, so the lines are parallel. If we remember, M represents the slope and B is the y-intercept. So very quickly, if we look at L1, where the equation is y equals 2x plus 4, the slope of L1 is 2, because that's the M, and L1 cuts the y-axis at 4. The point is actually 0, 4, but it's 4. That's 4 here. That's where it cuts the y-axis. Slope or gradient of perpendicular lines. Basic knowledge. If two lines are perpendicular, then they intersect each other at 90 degrees. So here, we're saying that these two lines are perpendicular, so that angle is 90 degrees. L1 and L2 are perpendicular lines. Hence, there is a very special relationship with respect to their gradients. And this is the very important relationship here. If the gradient of L1 is M1, and the gradient of L2 is M2, then M1 multiplied by M2 equals minus 1. That is, the product of the two gradients is minus 1. The next slide will present two typical questions which can be answered when we know about the gradients of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now here's the question about parallel lines. This question is very, very common, and you will see it. Find the equation of a line which passes through 3, 2, and which is parallel to y equals 4x minus 6. Now, we know that the line passes through 3, 2. That's a given. So that's part of the puzzle there. Very important information. If we knew the gradient, we could use the point gradient formula. That's the formula we can use to find the equation of this line. So we need the gradient. So, if it is parallel to y equals 4x minus 6, then it has the same gradient as this line. 
Since y equals 4x minus 6 is in the form y equals mx plus b, then it has a gradient of 4. See, because there's the m. There's the m, which represents the gradient. So the gradient's 4. Finally, we can use the point gradient formula to calculate the equation of the line. Now here is the very important point gradient formula. M is 4, so that's information for us. X1, Y1 is 3, 2. So we substitute that information into that formula and we have Y minus 2 equals 4 outside of X minus 3. Removing the grouping symbols, Y minus 2 equals 4X minus 12. Adding 2 to both sides. See this minus 2 here, this there. So all we do is add 2 to both sides. And we must do that to keep the equation balanced. When we simplify this line here, the equation of the line we're after is y equals 4x minus 10. And note, the equation of that line is for y equals 4x minus 10, but look, the gradient is 4. See? Which is the same gradient as the initial line. And that shows they're parallel. Question about perpendicular lines. Find the equation of a line which passes through 3, 2 and which is perpendicular to y equals minus 5x plus 6. Now, we know that the line passes through 3, 2. That's the information we've been given. If we knew the gradient, we could use the point gradient formula to find the equation of this line. So, if it is perpendicular to y equals minus 5x plus 6, then the products of the two gradients is minus 1. Since y equals minus 5x plus 6 is in the form y equals mx plus b, then it has a gradient of minus 5. There it is there. The gradient's minus 5. So the gradient of the unknown line is 1 over 5 because minus 5 times 1 over 5 is minus 1. Here is the point gradient formula again. And here is the information that we need. We found it. M is 1 over 5. X1, Y1 is 3 over 2. We put that information into the point gradient formula. Y minus 2 equals 1 over 5 outside of X minus 3. We multiply both sides by 5 to remove this fraction. That gives us 5Y minus 10 equals X minus 3. We add 10 to both sides. 5Y minus 10 plus 10 equals X minus 3 plus 10. So 5y equals x plus 7. That is the equation of the unknown line. Quick quiz. Please check through the video at any time to help you. That's what it's there for. What is the meaning of the following? Life after death. I wonder if you got that one out. The quick quiz answers. And don't forget... Check through the video to help you at any time if you need help on how to find these answers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you'll receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.